everything is fine and now we are ready to start um okay so again um the main questions comes that from which object can we start so um <coughs> for different characters it may be ray but for this one it seems like if we uh, make it break it into the basic shapes it's the seems like a spare and a cone and somehow these can be cylinder and yep these can also be cylinders so we can create it somehow like this so yep let's start from the basic object so first of all a spare um, <clears throat> we can use a simple spare for the head but I would always recommend to not use this pair instead add a cube and add a subdivision modifier and let's make it two and make this one apply okay so this is now exactly not spare but it have a better topology if we go to the edit mode I can just press tab to go to the edit mode or you can just switch it from here as you can see I have this spy menu on if you want the same you can just come here to the reference and turn on the pie and turn on the pie and then just do the X and the Z and then come up here to the um, I think it's in the input yep so make sure to turn on um, yep uh, in the key map turn on the tab for pie menu so whenever you press the tab it give you this menu and you're just a bit quick to switch between the object and the edit mode okay so <clears throat> after that um, we have this object let's grab it up here and now let's scale this one with the X direction so it will as I said again it will not exactly follow the thing but our object is in center so we don't need to map it or move it around just do it with the scale and as much it's possible to match Okay, we can keep it a bit small as <clears throat> we see the head is inside and this is somehow the costume so we will keep this a bit low and now right click and make it shade smooth so to see somehow like this okay the next object is a cone so shift a uh, add a cone but this cone have this sharp corner and we don't need it so come up here to the add cone menu and let's first um, decrease the segments to about 16 I think this would be enough and the we have the both two radius here the one is the down one and this is the up one so at the up one also we need somehow a bit of thickness like this as we see and yeah the down one seems fine we will adjust it more manually so let's grab it up scale it down Yep, and again this won't really match this one uh, the back reference but we can just imagine it how this will so let me just grab this one a bit up extrude it down somehow like this and from the side view let's just scale it with the Y and also scale it with the X as you can see I'm switching these cameras from 1 3 the numpad one so it's easy for you to just see that okay uh, another thing that I always do is that I create things on mirror so we just work on one side so I delete these vertex and again I'm holding the X and this is the pie menu so don't confuse for that just click on delete vertex even if you if your pie menu is off okay and now I'll switch back to the object mode come up here and add a mirror modifier but if we go to the edit mode select all with A and G then it's splitting so make sure to have the clipping on okay now we are pretty much good um, I think this one this vertex need to be up these to be like here and this one seems to be up so it's somehow this kind of shape uh, that you might like it maybe okay um, from the down it's not filled so let's select these tools and these tools and F to fill that uh, now to fill these more I would use a built-in modifier of blender so go to the reference come up here to the add-ons and search for F2 add-on it's an add-on that helps in filling so if if I now select this edge and just press F F and F and this fills it automatically which is 
um, super cool to do okay now select the face and control shift and left click till here and now I do insect but as you can see it's having this this thing so um, if we just turn on the outset we can just fill that so just scale it a bit and as you can see that will, this will give us a bit of bevel bevelness so we have some better preview uh, okay and also this one we can scale it a bit and yeah this seems fine <coughs> Now we can also right click and make it shade smooth. Um, this will seems a bit weird lines for now, but after we add some subdivision, it will be fine. Okay, um, we can also fill this one with F, but don't really need it. So, yep. Okay, also select uh, these edge with Alt Shift and left click and Control B to bevel that, so it have some round shape here and it seems fine. Now it's time for adding the feeds. So for the feeds we can just use a cylinder. It have 32 vertex loops. It's a bit too high fully and I always try to add simpler and low poly shapes. So I would like to add um, 16 or maybe 12. Yep. This seems fine and I'll just scale this put it here in the space of leg and now just scale this one a bit high and now grab this one till the ground and if you don't see the ground you can just come up here to the right side view by pressing 3 and now you can just grab it till it match somehow like this okay we have some simpler feeds um, and now it's time to add details so control R and add a loop till here and now select the down one and press Z S and just scale it somehow like this um, also we can add another loop and let's make this one scale a bit here so it's more like feet now and scale this one also at the middle we need three loops so i add a central loop and now control b and just bevel that make sure it don't have a face here as you can see it's having a face so i would like to x and delete this face as it's inside and we don't see it so it's good to not have these okay um, from the side view select all the knee and now grab it a bit to the forward so it's more looking like a feet and again we can just scale this feet a bit more Now right click and make it shade smooth and now come up here and add a mirror modifier and for the mirror object select this one so it mirrored it somehow like this. Now it's time for adding these hands so again the same thing we would like to add a cylinder. Now scale it down, scale it with Z and now rotate it with the 90 degree and move it up here okay we don't need to follow the A pose we can just keep it like the T pose it's really helpful in the rigging so leave it as it for now and just match the thickness so yeah somehow like this would be needed here and this would need here and if you want to check the length of the hand uh, shift right to move the cursor here come up here and change this one to a 3d cursor and now rotate that so as you can see it should be somehow like here and now what I will do is go to the edit mode grab this loop till here go to the object mode again rotate this again and 
I think it's a bit too short so let's move it up here and yep this seems fine also the hand is a bit inside so yep this is somehow fine so now control R and add a loop here control B to just bevel that cause again um, it's a joint and we need three loops here also select this face and X delete face now select this and control B to bevel that but as you can see it's not uh, making it equal bevel so control Z go to the object mode control A and apply scale and rotation and now go to again and control B let's have a good bevel and now somehow we are ready to create this hand so extrude scale it down extrude extrude it till here so we have this space for the thumb and extrude it again this time scale it down keep it down and scale it with the Y but make sure it's to the medium point and now I to insect it or just extrude and scale okay now for the thumb we can just pick up these two vertex as these are in center and now we can just extrude that scale that grab it toward the X rotate in the Z direction so as you can see it's looking like a hand now now we can just mirror that with the mirror object of the center one so I think this is it for the basic blockout of our character and in the next one we will start adding details and finish the whole character modeling so see you in that thank you so much for watching and bye